Um, you know, the rehabilitation program is something that was not existing. It became because farms were diseased, CSSBD, there's no known remedy, uh, there's chemical remedy. The only way is to cut the trees and replant, which the farmers cannot do. Uh, we've seen it over the years that farmers have not been able to do that on their own. Uh, so the government, together with Cocoa Board, then decided to make major intervention, which we call the rehabilitation program. And once we have such a program, we have to spend. And if you are spending, definitely your administrative costs will go up. Uh, so a lot of that money is going into um, payment of. Uh, you know, the workers who are working in the field, uh, we are talking about planting materials and then various activities because almost everything is being done for the farmers, for the provision of even planting circuits and planting. Uh, I've, I've quite often explained that if you leave it with a farmer, ordinarily a farmer can cultivate just a pole. A pole is a 40 ounce farm. So even if you take it as an acre, a farmer can do an acre a year. You give yourself uh, 10 years, you would have done 10 acres. Now, when the disease strikes, the farmer have to cut all the 10 acres and replant everything at a go. And the cost of doing that is number one, labor into that. Even the tap, there's no way any farmer in Ghana can cut 10 hectare, you know, land, and then decide to plant on its own, or even with a, with a family. They cannot do it. That's how come uh, we intervene to do it for them, and then uh, also pay uh, compensation in respect of uh, land tenure issues involved and all that. So we have a lot of expenditure going on there. But the question that came up is that whereas you know the expenditure there is going up, it is not corresponding you know, with our production, and that is that is that is obvious. It's so obvious that um, these are young farms. When you have uh, the rehabilitation, the, these early stages, you don't expect to see yield. Um, and the audit was in 2023. But going forward, uh, from now, uh, going, we are going to see, you know, improvements in the yield. The, the production credit is definitely going to change.